All right, guys, we are going to create this today and then we'll see how to use page view reject, dot indicator, and how to create what we saw earlier. Thank you, and it's good to have you here again. Okay, now this is a fresh Flutter project, as you can see. If you touch this, you see, this is a, a, a fresh Flutter project. Let's remove this debug banner first. Come to Material App, Debug, Show Banner, Force, Set to Force, uh, and Save. <coughs> okay, it's out. So, we have a folder called Images Folder. In this folder, we have, we have our, our four our four images. You see this image? Um, this is one we saw in the home screen earlier. Then we also have this, and we have this for different page view screens. Okay, so create this folder and add these images. You have this in the description below. All right, um, to use these images, you go to your pop spec popspec.yaml file okay just a moment and then you you have to reference your asset from this file okay right here assets so we'll, we'll uncomment this uh, control forward slash and then our images are in our folder in our image folder also make sure this is where aligned X your image would show. So you remove this and then you save. It's like this because the image is in the image folder, as you can see, images folder. So we can reference those images now. Close this up and then create if a, a file, call it uh, call it onbody dot dot onbody. Onbody okay, dot dot. Okay, for this, let's make it a stateful widget. A stateful widget. Let's call it onbody. Yeah, onbody. Let's remove this placeholder and add material dot dot import uh, package. Flutter material like that. Yep. So now we're going to return a scaffold. Scaffold. And uh, let's give it a body. A body. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Okay. A body. Yep. Let the body be. Uh, let the body be a container. Container, container and reject, and then the child is going to be the child will be page view reject, a page view reject, and page view takes a list of children, page view, list of children. Okay, um, page view. Okay, if you notice from this, you know we have our dot indicator here. So if if you should if your if the child of the container should be a page view reject, we may not be able to achieve this. So let's let's make it a stack widget because this dot indicator is is stacked on the page view. So let's make it a stack widget first. Let's call it a stack widget. Yes, stack widget and also stack text children. Okay, yeah, yeah. So um, the first children, let's have a central widget. The child of the central widget. Mm, the child of the center. Okay. Uh, okay, the child of the central widget. Uh, okay, now we can make. The, uh, the first widget in this children in this list of, of stack it should be our page view yes our page view widget 
and then beneath it is our uh, dot indicator dot indicator we'll add this later okay page view widget like i said before it takes a list of widgets which are the screens we saw earlier <coughs> list of widget so let's use center child let's say the child uh, the child now if you also notice notice this this particular button is also a stack on on this screen so even the page view is going to be a stack too see what i mean now it's going to be a child um stack stack widget again then children so that first is the image on the stack first is this image then the next is this button so let's 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 name it first we have image and we have button okay let's go back again the child of the container widget is a stack widget and the stack widget takes children now actually what's what stack widget does is that it's it's a it overlays widget in other words it's going to put widget on itself it put widget on itself just like this this is on itself so it positions with widget on itself so the stack widget then the, the page view widget also take children the first child right now is the center widget so the center widget is taking stack again that's because of this button you're going to have the button which is this this button to go to the next page okay so please let's continue let's use our asset image image dot asset name is is uh you know is our is in our images folder images uh let's see the name let's see the name Im okay first dot jpg images first dot jpg okay and of course it's, it's not going to show because we have not run we've not called this particular uh screen we've not called this widget so go to our main the dot file and then we'll come here remove this and call on body yeah so it's going to show now um, but then, as you can see, it's not able to locate that uh, that image. Let's see what happened. First, the JPG is not correct. Let's move one J. So that is it. Now, if you see, if you notice this, it's covering the whole screen. So you have to fit it to cover the whole screen. Use fit property. Can we boss fit? Boss fit dot cover let's see okay let's just contain okay boss field cover boss field of contain is not working okay let's wrap the image because it doesn't have a parent container with a container okay and let's give it a height of uh, uh the whole height that's the the, the the complete screen the, the whole height of the screen with that query dot off dot size dot height okay so once again come back here and make it cover so it's going to work now as you can see so that is the first image now just to show you that our page is working okay let's let's have some more widgets to our list of widgets in page view let's do this um child let's just add this first child test widget just for tests let's call it second p 
page. Second page. Okay, now cool. put the command here. Get this widget again. Then let's call this third page. So if you swipe now, see it's gonna work. Second page, third page. So our page view is already working. All right. <clears throat> now, once again, let's let's auto restart. Okay. Now let's add the button, which is this particular button. Let me show you this button. Let's add that button. Okay, now the stack widget takes takes position property. It helps you to position your widget on certain areas of the stack. So it's called position. Position. Position is gonna be uh, uh, position is gonna be let's see just a moment. Let's give it container first. Container child is going to be icon icons dot chevron chevron right. Yes, just a moment, and then uh, put a comma here. Bottom is going to come down below, so it's going to be uh, bottom will be. Let's also use a media query again. Media query dot off. Then dot uh, dot size. I said the size property. Then height. Let's multiply with zero point zero. Nine. Let's see where it's going to be. Zero point zero nine. It's as you can see. Okay. Let's add the right. Let's add right properties. Right, because we want it here. So right is going to be. Let's say minus ten. See, it's here right now. Okay. Uh. Okay, that's too far. Let's say 10. Okay, let's can see it here. So let's increase the size of the icon. Size. Let's say 20. Let's see. Okay. Let's say 50. Okay, this is it. Uh, let's increase it more. To 100 and see. Yep, this is the icon. Okay, maybe let's shift a little further. Let's see this. Okay, it's a little further to the right. Let's make it uh, five and see. Okay, I think five is okay. And uh, let's shift it downward a bit. Eight. Yes. So now this is the button, and this is our first screen, as you can see, our first screen. Now, you see, we have, let's, let's make this, the first child of this stack reusable because of the other screens, so that we just change the image, and then, yeah, we just change the image. And then, uh, if you also notice, this particular button is attached to each screen. So we're going to remove the old central widget and use it as a visible widget. So let's go down, come here, create, create a function that will turn a widget. Widget, call it a page. Page view, a page widget. Okay, then return, return this. Where is it now? Let's return this here. Wrap it up. That's the first widget 
We are making it reusable. Let's just cut it and then put it here. All right. And then uh, how the parameters or properties? First of all, build contest because of this media query. Build contests. Okay. And then we need our image. Just come here. Let's call it image. Image. And because it's a, it's a variable, let's add a, a dollar sign. So you're going to come here and call it string image. Yes. And then, um, and then, I think that is all. Let's see. So you come here and then you add it up here as a reusable widget. That will be page view. So the image is first dot jpg. Recommended. So let's repeat it. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. And let's remove these other widgets. We don't need them again. Let's remove them and save. Okay. As you can see. So let's change the images. This is second. And this is third.jpg. Third. The JPG. As you can see, we have them already. Just like this. As you can see. Now, let's get our dot indicator. These three. These three dots. Dot indicator. Okay. And dot indicator, it's after our page view widget, as you can see. So, you go to your pops, click the channel file again. Under your dependencies, Bips. Hard dots dots indicator, just like this, and then you save so that Pop can get you the package. So we'll come back here, and then we'll have dots. Um, let's see, dot in the dot indicator. Okay, so first of all, dot count. Let's see what it accepts. Int. Okay, go for three. Then let's see and see. Because it's here, but it's at the top. So let's also use. Positioning widgets, positioning widgets. So position it at the bottom of the screen. Okay, come here like this. Um, wrap with widget. Oh, sorry. Position widget, and uh, let's copy this because it's, it's at the same position. Let's copy these properties. Let's copy this. Just this, yeah, yeah. Let's copy this and <clears throat> and add it here. Bottom. So it's going to come down. It's here right now. So let's come up and um, let's add a line, a line, alignment, alignment dot center. Alignment dots bottom center, yes. So it's in the middle, as you can see, three dot indicator. Less dot indicators. Okay. So we're going to come here and then we'll start them now. It's going to be active uh, okay, decorator. Call it dot decorator. Active color. Let's use colors dot red. Yeah. Active color color dot red. Then uh, active active shape. Take size size. Active shape. Take size. It's 
it's going to be we to be let's say 18 and then i to be 8 let's see what's going on let's see Okay, it's supposed to be shape dot square. Let's see. Okay, just a moment, please. Just a moment. Let's see. Okay. Sorry, I mean active size, active size. It's going to be size. And you have 18 and then it's active size. Then we also have um, active, uh, let's see. Okay. We also have color itself. Colors should be colors dot. Let's what we have here. Think okay. Colors of black. Colors dot black. As a color, as you can see, and then we also have active. Active border. Uh, just a moment. Okay, it's going to be rounded rectangle border. Rounded rectangle border. Text border radius. And this border radius dot circular. Let's say 15. Then let's see the results. Yeah, as you can see, it's not changing yet. We're going to change that later. Okay, so that is that for the uh, for the screens. Okay, if you notice, this is not on the same line. Let's what we have here. It should be on the same position. So let's talk and drop that out. Um, bottom. Height. Okay. Let's trace this a little. Oh, sorry for that. Oh, let's trace a little. Um, two. That be too much. Ah, that be too much. Okay. Zero. Nine. Okay. I think it's okay like that. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, next is to make it functional. As you move, this should change to the next active dot. Okay. To achieve that, to achieve that, we'll come here. We'll come to our state class, and then you int page value. Create a variable in page value. Let's call it zero. Okay, zero. Let's call page value zero. That is because the very first, the very first item in your page view takes an index of zero. It takes an index of zero. Now, page view accepts page view accepts a particular method called um, it's called uh, on page change on page change so you can actually check what page you have from this point print print value yep. because value it's an int as you can see let's print and see 
So as you swipe, it's going to print the value. So let's swipe. You can see one, two, one. Okay. So we have to make this zero because that is the first. Now we are assessing the index so that we can use it to change the dot indicator, the, 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 the active dot dots in our dot indicator. So once it is assessed, we can change it from there. So that when you swipe, it goes to the active one. But now it's, it's not going there because it's not accessible yet. So with this, we can get the particular um, value or index. So let's call this index. I think it's better. Let's call this index. I'll call this uh, index to yeah, index. Okay, so let's let's create. You know, this is a state class, so we can use use a set state. Let's call it on page change. It's a function on page change function. What this function does is that it takes in index which is the current index of the page and then and then switch it with this value meaning assign it to this particular page value so and to assign it you have to use set state because your, your UI would know that it has been changed except you set state so you say page value equals to current index page value equals to current index now this particular function is going to be called on page change. So whenever a page is changed, you call this, this method on page change, on page change method. Yes. It takes index, which is the current index or of the page. So and assigns it to this particular page value so that we can assess it and use it for our dot indicator. Okay, now we'll come down. Let's come down here. And then, this is our button. Let's wrap this container with a, with a, guess of the, a guess of detector. Wrap with widget. Guess of detector. Then, on top. On top. Let's use this. Now, on top, we'll call on top we we'll call that function on top we we'll call these uh, no sorry okay once it's on top mm, I'm going to change the particular page so again to assess the, the, the page in order for you to change the page to the next screen you have to assess a controller Page view has a controller, it's called page controller. So let's create an, an instance of page controller here. Come here, call it page view. Um, it's called page, yeah, page controller. Okay, let's instantiate it. Page controller. Okay, then uh, with this page controller, we can we can move to the next page. So once this is once this is clicked, it goes to the next page. Okay, now come here. We'll do page controller. Okay, of course you don't have. You can't assess that particular method. So you have to add it here as page controller type. Call it page controller. Yeah. So add it there as an argument. So page controller dot animate to page. So which page are we going to? That's the first, the first argument. Next is the duration. Duration. Let's use uh, milliseconds. This is 1,000 milliseconds. And then the, the, the kind of animation. Let's use curve.easin. Curve.easin. 
Uh, you can pick anyone, but for me, curve dot um, is the case not working. Curve dot uh, yeah, easy. Yeah. So okay. Now, what page are we going to do? Now, this takes index. It takes the index, which tells us, which tells us the page we are going to. So, now, you know, we, we have assessed these pages with, with this value. This value. Now, let's change to the next page by us with this value. Since we have been able to assess um, Assess the current index with this value. We have saved the current index inside this page value. Therefore, we cannot change to the next page with this same value since it is saved already. So go down and then um, just like page, of course, you have to add it to as an argument. So it's an int, int page. Or you can call it index, whatever. Let's say page plus one, because it's, it's going to the next page plus one. So you're going to come here. So the first argument we are bringing in, it's let's see, let's see, is a page controller. Page controller, which, which is on top already. This is page controller, as you can see. Then the next, it's uh, let's see the, the the current page, the current page, which is that same page value. So let's copy this to then paste it here. Yeah, let's see. Okay, let's see if it works. Oh, it's not working yet. Let's see the error. Okay. It says scroll control not attached to the scroll view. Yes. You know, we've not attached it to our page view. So you have to attach it. It's called controller. You don't attach it. Call it page controller. You save. Now you can Click this. Okay, let's restart the app. Okay, now you click this. See it's working? Yeah. Can see it's working? Okay, next is for us to fix. Let's change our dot indicator to the active screen or the active page. So to do that, let's go to our dot indicator. This is it. Let's over and see what it takes. You see, it takes position, and the first position is zero. Okay, let's go there. Let's add position. It's zero. Now, let's call it page value because the current page value is zero. Now, page value changes when you click this. Remember, when you click on this button, page value changes. How do we change it with this this method? It changes it because because we call this method from on page chain that method is, is called so once it's called it's it assigns the index to that particular page value which becomes the current page so when i click this it's going to work it's going to work so let's save you can see it has changed it has changed so you can come back you see it's still changing so that is how you implement a uh, page view with dot indicator and also with a button as you can see everything is working now when you click this you want to go to the first page the home page or the home screen so to achieve that first of all you have to write a method here let's write a conditional statement here say if your index if a uh, page 
plus 1 is greater than uh, 3. Okay, just a moment. If page plus 1 is greater, is greater than 3, um, if, sorry, if it's less than 3, you want it to move to this particular page. X X go to home go to home screen X if page plus one is less than three move to the next page let's make this a const constructor okay go to the next page or go to home screen so let's create an home screen go to your lips folder create a file call it o dot dot then this is a stateless widget stateless widget let's call it o then remove this and import material dot dot import package plotter plotter matter dot dot remove the place folder and then uh, return the scaffold. The scaffold takes body property, and this body, let's okay, get a container, container, and if you remember, our own page image takes the whole screen just like this. So this container should also take a act, act of media query dot of size dot height that's the whole height of the screen then child will be image asset and asset image okay let's see the image home dot jpg uh that is images home dot jpg okay then let's fit in to Cover the old screen feet. Boss feet. Dot cover. Okay. Let's put this here to remove the errors. Okay, come back here. So if 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 this is more than three, it goes to home screen. So let's navigate to the home screen navigator dots of assets the contest then push add the route to it push is a material page route then contest again then return the screen home screen there's an error somewhere let's see okay let's put this here yes so once it's more than three, it's gonna to go to this. Okay, so let's see. This is the screen as you can see. Okay, now we need to add an app so that we can go back. So go to your home dot that and app harbor widget. Um Background color should be colors dot white. Let's see the let's see the, the result. Color dot white as you can see. Now let's put foreground colors as we can see the the button, the arrow button there. It's called the foreground color. Colors dot black. Now you see it now. Okay. Now we can go back. Okay. So that is how to implement page view dot indicator as you have seen. Thank you and please don't forget to use the subscription button and also um, click on the notification button for more videos. Hope to see you next time. Thank you. Bye for now.